Hello everyone, today let us discuss protein estimation by biuret method and Lowry method. Protein can be estimated by different methods. No method is 100% accurate. There are several methods for protein estimation. Some of them are biuret assay, Bradford assay, Lowry assay, gel dal method, and UV absorption at 280 nanometer, etc. The biuret test is a chemical test used for detecting the presence of peptide bonds. In the presence of peptides, a copper ion forms violet colored coordination complexes in an alkaline solution. The Lowry protein assay is a biochemical assay for determining the total level of protein in a solution. The method combines the reactions of copper ions with the peptide bonds under alkaline conditions like the biurate test and with the oxidation of aromatic protein residues. So first let us discuss biurate method of protein estimation. First let us come to principle. When a protein is treated with a small amount of sodium hydroxide solution and dilute solution of cupric sulfate, a violet color is produced. This test is given by all substances that contain two or more peptide linkages, that is such substances as proteins and polypeptides. The color is due to the formation of coordination complex between copper ion and carboxyl and amino group of the peptide linkages. The biuret test is negative for amino acids which do not contain a peptide linkage or for dipeptides which contain only one peptide linkage. The violet colored complex can be colorimetrically measured at 520 nanometer. Now let us come to requirements of the experiment. Standard protein solution which is bovine serum albumin, biuret reagent that is copper sulfate, sodium potassium tartarate, sodium hydroxide, and potassium iodide. We also require distilled water, beakers, measuring cylinders, and pipettes, and also spectrophotometer. Now let us come to procedure. First, preparation of standard solution of protein, that is BSA. Bovine serum albumin solution is prepared by dissolving 200 mz of BSA in 50 ml of distilled water. The concentration of the resulting BSA solution is 5 mz per ml. Preparation of biuret reagent 0.75 gram of copper sulfate and 2.25 gram of sodium potassium tartarate are dissolved in 125 ml of 0.2 normal sodium hydroxide. To this, 1.25 gram of potassium iodide was added and the volume of the solution is finally met up to 200 ml with 0.2 normal sodium hydroxide. Now let us come to experimental procedure. First, to six test tubes, 0 ml, 0.4 ml, 0.8 ml, 1.2 ml, 1.6 ml, and 2 ml of the standard BSA solution are added. Second, the volume of the solutions were made up to 2 ml by adding 2 ml, 1.6 ml, 1.2 ml, 0.8 ml, 0.4 ml, and 0 ml of distilled water in the test tubes. To all the test tubes, 3 ml of biuret reagent are added. Then the test tubes are incubated for 10 minutes at room temperature. Then absorbents for each of the solution are taken at 520 nanometer. The reaction mixture containing 0 ml BSA solution is taken as blank. Absorbents are noted down and a graph is drawn by plotting the absorbents against their respective amount or concentration of protein. Protocol of the experiment. Now let us come to observation. 
The amount of protein, that is BSA in MZ, is plotted in the x-axis and the absorbance at 520 nanometer in the y-axis. By plotting the observed different absorbance for different amount of proteins and by joining them, a straight line is obtained. That is, there is a linear relation between absorbance and concentration. This straight line is the trend line of the observed values. This straight line can be used as a calibration standard curve for estimating protein concentration of unknown samples. Now let us come to protein estimation by Lowry method. First, let us discuss the principle. Lowry method for protein estimation is a modification of the biurate method of protein estimation. It is a colorimetric assay. The color so formed is due to the reaction of the alkaline copper with the nitrogen of the peptide bond in the protein as in the biurate test, and the reduction of phosphomolybdate and phosphotungstate to heteromolybdenum blue by tyrosine and tryptophan present in the protein. The intensity of color depends on the amount of these aromatic amino acids present and will thus vary for different proteins. This method is very sensitive. Sample containing as little as 5 microgram of proteins can be readily analyzed. The characteristic violet color can be spectrophotometrically read at 500 to 750 nanometer. Now let us come to requirements of the experiment. Copper sulfate, sodium hydroxide, sodium carbonate, sodium potassium tartarate, that is Rochelle salt, bovine serum albumin, BSA, folin, geocalcius, reagent, measuring cylinder, beaker, distilled water, and pipette. Now let us discuss the procedure. First, preparation of solution A. 5 gram of sodium carbonate and 1 gram of sodium hydroxide are dissolved in distilled water and the volume is made up to 250 ml. To prepare a solution containing 2% sodium carbonate weighed by volume and 0.4% sodium hydroxide weighed by volume. Next, preparation of solution B. 0.5% copper sulfate is prepared by dissolving 1 gram of copper sulfate in distilled water and final volume of the solution is made up to 200 ml. 1% sodium potassium tartarate is prepared by dissolving 2 gram of sodium potassium tartarate in distilled water and final volume of the solution is made up to 200 ml. Solution B is prepared by mixing 0.5% copper sulfate and 1% sodium potassium tartarate in the ratio of 1 is to 1. Now, preparation of solution C. Solution C is prepared by mixing 50 ml of solution A and 1 ml of solution B. That is, solution A and solution B are mixed in the ratio of 50 is to 1. Solution C should always be prepared freshly before use. Next is folin Kyokelchus reagent. Folin Kyokelchus reagent should be diluted to one normal before use. It is done by adding 5 ml of distilled water to 5 ml of folin Kyokelchus reagent. Next Preparation of standard solution of BSA. Standard solution of BSA is prepared by dissolving 100 mz of BSA in distilled water. And final volume of the solution was made up at 100 ml. The resulting BSA solution has a concentration of 1 mz per ml. Now, preparation of working standard solution of BSA at 250 microgram per ml. 2.5 ml of standard BSA solution whose concentration is 1 mg per ml is added in 7.5 ml of distilled water. The working BSA solution has a concentration of 250 microgram per ml. 
Now let us come to experimental procedure. In six test tubes, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1 ml of working solution of protein that is BSA are taken. The volume of the above solution are made up to 1 ml with distilled water. To each test tubes, 5 ml of solution C is added. Then, 0.5 ml of folin Kyokel juice reagent is added to each test tubes. The test tubes are incubated at room temperature for 30 minutes. Absorbance for each reaction mixture is taken at 660 nanometer. The reaction mixture which does not contain protein is taken as blank. The absorbance is noted down and a graph is drawn by plotting the absorbance against their respective amount of protein. Now let us come to observation. Figure calibration curve for protein estimation using Lowry method. The amount of protein, that is BSA, in microgram is plotted in the x-axis and the absorbance at 660 nanometer in the y-axis. By plotting the observed different absorbance for different amount of protein and by joining them, a straight line is obtained. This straight line is a calibration curve of protein. Using this calibration curve, we can estimate concentration and amount of unknown protein samples. Now let us come to conclusion. There are several methods of protein estimation. Amongst them, the most widely used are biuret test, Bradford assay, and Lowry method. Here in this session, we have learned about the protein estimation using biuret and Lowry method. In biuret method, the color is due to the formation of coordination complex between copper ion and carboxyl and amino group of the peptide linkages. Lowry method is based on the color so formed due to the reaction of the alkaline copper with the nitrogen of the peptide bond in the protein as in the biuret test and the reduction of phosphomolybdate and phosphotungstate to heteromolybdenum blue by tyrosine and tryptophan present in the protein. And Lowry method is more sensitive, highly reproducible and easy to perform. That's all. Thank you.